laws of exponents dividing powers with same base let's try to see what happens when we divide exponents with same base uh, let's take an example like this let's say we have 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 7 now 2 to the power of 5 means 5 twos, right 1 2 3 4 5 that means there are 5 factors of 2, right? 2 to the power 7 means there are 7 factors of 2 multiplied, right? So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And when you divide this, you can cancel out the terms which are common in numerator and denominator. So the numbers are common, can cancels out, right? And ultimately you are left with 1 over two twos, right? When two is multiplied by two, two times, <laughs> two times two, in exponents we'll write it to the power of two. Do you see that? In the denominator. Correct. Now, uh, let's take another example. This time we'll take numerator more than the denominator and see what happens. So we said 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of 3. Now in this case, 3 to the power of 4 is 3 times, 3 times, 3 times, 3. So 4 factors of 3. And 3 to the power of 3 will mean 3 times, 3 times, 3. As in the last case, we can cancel out the common factors of 3 and we are left with 3 which is just one power. We normally don't write one on the top. Okay. So what do you observe? We observe that the power actually when we divide decreases. Right. From 4 divided by 3 it is 1 and it is related to 4 minus 3. And we will do negative exponents soon and you will realize that two, 1 over 2 to the power of 2 is actually written as 2 to the power of minus 2. Okay, now how do we get that? Let's take a general statement and let's say a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 3. Then what do we get? So a to the power of 5 will give us a times, a times, a times, a times a. So 5 factors of a is a to the power of 5 and a to the power of 3 is 3 factors of a, correct? Out of which these 3 will cancel out because they are 3 common and we are left with a to the power of 2 because there are 2 factors of a multiplied, right? As you know, exponents is a very short way of writing this long factors of the same number. And that same number is called the base of an exponent, right? So here the base is A and the exponent is 2. If you observe all these cases, you'll find this, how do we get 2 from these numbers? It is 5 minus 3 gives you 2. 4 minus 3 gives us 1. 5 minus 7 gives us minus 2. So in general, if I have something like a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, I should expect a to the power of m minus n. So this is dividing powers with same base. It's a law because always this is true. We can also derive this from a different approach and that is I hope you remember when we de did multiplication of powers, right? Then we had a law there and we derived this law from there. If you multiply powers with same base, then what happens? If you recall, if I do a to the power of m times a to the power of n, what do I get? I get a to the power of m plus n, right? They add up when we multiply. Now, when we divide, Divide is like reciprocal of multiplication, right? Correct? So, or when we do negative exponents, you will understand that 
a to the power of minus n is actually 1 over a is divide. Or think like this. If I replace n with minus n, then what happens? That is, if I replace, if I do this, a to the power of m times a to the power of minus n, then what happens? Since they are multiplied, the multiplied loss says they will add up. And so we will write a to the power of m plus minus n, which will give us a to the power of m minus n. So we can actually derive dividing powers with same base from multiplying because multiplication and division is actually the same operation, right? Dividing means multiplying by its reciprocal, correct? So negative exponents normally or you will soon learn if you haven't seen that video yet means reciprocal, right? So anyway, in general, we can say a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m minus n. So when we divide powers with same base, base remains same and what happens to exponents? They subtract from numerator to denominator value, okay? So that is how or that is what dividing powers with x same base leads to. Okay, if you have something like this, you can try this problem. 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 4 times 5 to the power of 2 divided by 2 times 3 times 5. Let's say this to the power of 2. What should you get? Okay. So powers 3, this is 1. It will get subtracted. 4 minus 2 and 5 minus 1 should be your answer. I hope you understand this very basic concept of, it's a law of dividing powers with same base. But, you know, we use them in so many different ways. You'll find its utility soon in doing exponential equations and all rational exponents, so many things. Okay, thank you.